It's Tech News Monday, Monday, Monday. It costs only five dollars for a seat. Oh. You only need the edge. Uh, what? Most of you probably know by now that Apple is going to be putting its own ARM-based CPUs inside of future iMacs and MacBooks. But now it looks like we know who is going to be actually manufacturing those chips. It's none other than TSMC, who's already been responsible for making the SOCs that lie at the hearts of iPads and iPhones everywhere. So the news isn't super surprising. Apple's already planning to move to a three nanometer process for its mobile devices in a couple of years, offering power savings and performance improvements, and we may actually see those inside upcoming Macs as well. It looks like Apple is going to be placing a big order of some sort with TSMC in late 2021, so this might be an indication that some of the new Mac chips will be included. You know, I could actually go for a bag of Apple chips right now. Sounds not digestible. We're getting closer and closer to PlayStation 5 pre-orders opening, but if you were hoping to snag one console for yourself and another for a friend, you might be plum out of luck, as the kids say. A user on Reddit dug through some of the PlayStation Direct source code and revealed an error message that users will presumably be presented with if they try to add more than one PS5 console to their shopping cart. The restriction exists regardless of whether you're trying to buy the disc or digital only version of the PS5, and you also can't buy one of each version. I mean, well, this is ridiculous. Yeah. How am I supposed to try out both of them and find out which one I like? Read reviews? I don't know. Earlier reports indicated that Sony was going to be making 10 million PS5s in the first run, double the originally planned amount. But the company still wants to make sure it can keep up with demand during COVID by limiting everyone to just one system. Man, this pandemic is squeezing everyone. Even the people who buy multiple PlayStations at once, we really feel bad for those people. Wait, I don't, I don't feel bad for them at all. They're just gonna flip them on eBay. Well, yeah, f you guys. Lots of folks use VPNs to keep their internet activity private, but several VPNs that activists trusted out in Hong Kong during the recent tension have reportedly had sensitive user data leaked to the public. This data includes addresses, passwords, payment information, and importantly, I mean, those other things are important too, web activity. The entire cache of leaked info was online for over two weeks. A turn of events made even more shocking due to the fact that the VPNs in question advertised that they did not log any user data. It turns out that these VPNs were actually just rebranding a different provider service, so it would have been hard for them to guarantee what exactly the actual provider's data protection practices were. So like, yeah, oh, okay, that's fine, just a big misunderstanding, I guess. <laughs> In any event, remember to be super careful when choosing a VPN. And no, today's sponsor is not private internet access, it's just really newsworthy that you should make sure you choose a, a trustworthy VPN like private internet access. Actually, the sponsor is Drop.com with the Mass Drop Sennheiser 6XX headphones bringing you the Bic quits today. They've sold over 70,000 units and why not? With a balanced mid-range and natural sounding bass, you'll be sure to love them. They're super comfy. I've been using their close cousin, the HD 600s for years. They come with both a quarter inch adapter and one eighth inch plug, and they're backed by Sennheiser, so you can't go wrong. Plus, you'll get $20 in credit when you sign up as a new user at the link below. So click it and join the drop. Now for BitQuits. OnePlus is throwing their hat into the truly wireless earbuds ring with the announcement of the OnePlus Buds, which could also easily double as a heartwarming buddy cop movie. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good, John. They'll be available in three colors, and unlike every other phone maker, OnePlus didn't actually copy the AirPods case design. Just the AirPods themselves, oh. and then they copied the Pixel Buds oh, case yeah. design. Well, mix and match. It's yeah. much better. TSMC has confirmed it's going to stop shipping chips to Huawei within the next two months thanks to license restrictions from the US. This sucks for Huawei for sure, but the news isn't great for TSMC either, as about 14% of TSMC's total revenue came from the Chinese giant. In order for Apple to make up the difference, a lot of people are gonna have to buy them new ARM-based Macs. I'm sure they'll run fine, yeah. so 
Here we go. Okay. You could also buy new GPUs, which are probably coming soon, and buy lots of Ryzen's. Google Maps can now direct you to the nearest bike sharing location, as well as places to return your rented bike near your destination. That's pretty cool, because I ran into a situation in San Francisco a while back. I wanted to go down to this key or pier or whatever it's called. We're gonna take a car, but there's all these bikes. Okay, I get there and it's like, oh, the taxi cab mafia made it so you couldn't put any bike return stations anywhere near. I, I was stuck with the bike. So Linus thought it would be a good idea to rent bikes, even though he doesn't ride a bike and has never ridden in traffic. Well, we made it to Pier 39. And now we have to walk our bikes because he didn't look up where the nearest bike share was. And apparently it's like a mile back. It's available in these 10 markets. Chicago, New York, San Francisco, DC, London, Mexico City. I, I ran out of fingers. Sao Paulo, I don't know how to pronounce that, and Taipei. But Google is planning to add more soon, so it's a good time to get those quads in shape, especially if they've been atrophying indoors. And another VPN just arrived on the scene. It's from Mozilla, you know, the, the Firefox guys and gals. Simply called Mozilla VPN. It's available in the US, the UK, Malaysia, New Zealand, Singapore, and right here in good old Canada. It's five bucks a month and Mozilla says it doesn't keep logs of user activity. And we, we, we can trust them, right? I mean, it's Mozilla. They're like internet good guys, right? I, I certainly hope so. Yes, yes. And do you remember that urban legend from years ago that KFC wasn't selling real chicken? Well, that might become a reality soon as KFC is working with a Russian tech firm to develop 3D printed chicken nuggets. Why? They're not vegetarian as they do actually still use real chicken cells but the hope is that they'll be more environmentally friendly. KFC wants to have the final design ready later this year, and of course, keep that signature KFC flavor, which, depending on your outlook, may or may not be a good thing. So it is real chicken. That's it for today. Oh, it's real chicken, yeah. but like 3D printed. Come back Wednesday for some more deep fried goodness. Oh, mm. that's how I like my tech news. You have to buy an XL sized water bottle, lttstore.com. Here we go, boys. Oh.